Tonight we're going to do things just a little bit different. Randy is going to cook dinner and I'm going to sit over oh, here and I watch. Did. Yes. <laughs> he said he does a better job than me. I did me. not say that. And so we're going to let him have it. This not. is an easy, easy <laughs> recipe that is completely no fail, cannot mess it up. It's one for him to do. So let's not, get started. I am not cooking. We was getting started and Tammy was saying, you know, I said, what are you going to do? She says, I'm going to cut these potatoes in half. I said, can't you make it a little bit more exciting? And, and she I said, said, if you can do it better, you come make dinner. Yeah, so she goaded me into cooking dinner tonight, but I made her sit right here. I was told I had to do the cooking. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Well, yeah, you heard her. <laughs> I really don't want to, okay? But she's having fun, okay? And it's really bugging the crap out of me. So I told her, all right, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> but uh, she says, you know, I said, so let's do something with the potatoes. And she says, well, I'm just going to cut them in half. All right, so here we go. I'm going to cut all these potatoes in half. Okay, there you go. Half. Like, mm -hmm. that was hard, Tammy. I know. I said you can do it. So I got the potatoes cut. Mm -hmm. So she said I got to get a half a stick of butter. Mm -hmm. Well, while you guys weren't watching, and I was making a camera adjustment, that's when she told me to get a half a stick of butter. Oh wow, it's soft, honey. So, is that a happy stick? No. This one should make a happy stick, right? I don't know. I wouldn't have used that knife to go in. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Not allowed to lick your fingers. Not allowed to lick your fingers. Or rub your nose. Okay. <laughs> there. How do you like that? All right, so now what do I do with the butter? Yo, know, now you need to take about four cloves of garlic. Four cloves of garlic, okay. Four, I thought you said. I said three or four, so. We're gonna go with four. Yeah. I love garlic. Love, 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 love garlic. You know how we love garlic. <laughs> it's good for you. Yeah, but see, now I got like five different sizes. Well, you don't need all that. Well, can I use, you said four, so I got three big ones and a little one. Okay, that'll work. Okay. All right. Oh, this is why she wanted me to do it, because she didn't want to have to do this press. Single-handedly. All right. Fit more one. One in there, yeah. Actually, I'd probably do them all at the same time, right? Beer can crushing time. Of course, I don't drink beer in cans. Okay, all right, so now what? Oh, I got it. We don't waste anything around here. Uh-huh. See, I do pay attention. All right, now what? This goes in the oven at 350 degrees, and we're just going to melt that butter. So you just, Get your fingers out of the food. I was wiping the edge of the bowl off. Okay. If I put it in the oven, it's going to melt and fall off on the side. So I got to melt this just so it's all... Just melt it, yes. There. I'm going to preheat my oven. How hot? It's already preheated. Oh, it's already hot. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so I'm going to get my casserole dish with my bar butter. Yeah, barley. That's what it is. <laughs> butter and garlic. And I'm going to put it in the oven. And I'm going to let it sit there and roast. Melt. Okay. Okay. What else we got to get ready here? Uh, no. All right. So that's all done. Oh, you're going to need to grate that Parmesan cheese. I got to grate Parmesan cheese. 
So that goes like that. And then I got one of them. Now she said this thing is so easy. She says, oh, you could so do this, Randy. And I said, well, I don't want to do it. I said, let's go, get started. She says, no, I want you to come out here and do it. I said, you want me to do it? And she goes, yeah. So then she kind of like, you know, takes a stance and backs up against the fridge. It says, come on. Well, you've seen it, right? I think I'll go ahead and put that up in the front. Now, what do I do? I got to use the big side or the little no, side? I want this side. I want this side. Okay. The so, small grate. All right. So, that's great. Hey, you guys want some action footage? There, how's that? <laughs> Much better. Is that about right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we got the potatoes cut, we got the cloves and the butter in the, gar in the oven there, and I got all this Parmesan cheese. Anybody can do this at home, I'm just saying. So now what do I gotta do? My butter's like 90% melted. Then you can take it out. Okay, there we go. There's the butter. Tammy got just cleaned up this mess over here I made. <laughs> all right, but now, okay, so what am I going to do with these? Now you're going to take all that Parmesan cheese right. and you're going to put it in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'd rather just have the roasted Parmesan cheese with all that garlic butter is what I'd like to do. <laughs> no. All right, so I go ahead and I just put all that in there. Do I need to make some more? No, you just need to spread it out. Okay. All right. So right now, up to this point, we have five regular sized red potatoes uh -huh. cut in half. Yep. Four ounces of Parmesan cheese. Yep. Soaking and bathing in a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter and, and four cloves of garlic. Four cloves of garlic. Now you're gonna take those. Oop, I ate some of that Parmesan cheese. Am I gonna get in trouble? Yeah. Now you're gonna sit these this way and you're gonna salt and pepper them. Okay. Oh, by the way, where's the salt? Oh, fridge. Okay. I, it may not work. It better work. I put it in there. See, what we've been doing, we've been having an issue with the salt in the shaker. And that's because, uh, you know, during moisture. the heat of the day, the, the, the salt would absorb the moisture out of the air, right? And so I said, well, stick it in the fridge. You know, there's no humidity inside the fridge. And then you'll have the salt, right? It's working. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, it's doling it out. Yeah, so if you have an issue, well, of course, now this is an outdoor kitchen, a real one. We'll probably do, uh, I mean, a lot of you guys have been around, you know exactly what it looks like yeah. on the outside. What? I just finished doing the last one. How can I be doing overdoing it? And then, salt, and then pepper? Yes, then This pepper. is the one I like right here, pepper. Woohoo! Now look at that. Anyway, we have a viewer. Pam is the official winner of the Parmadou salt and pepper shakers. And Pam, as soon as you send me your email address, I know you sent me an email earlier, but I didn't get that address. You gotta send me that address so I know where to send salt and pepper shakers. All right. But you got a set of these bad boys. And as soon as I can get that shipping address and then get 30 minutes into town one day, I'll send them to you. 
Yeah. All right. So now what? What do I got to do here? Put them. So I got. So I want to just get these out of the way, and I want to bring these up here, so I have my working space. Okay. Accessible. Okay. All right. So now what do I got to do? Put them in here. Yep. Upside down or go flat, down? Flat side down. Flat side down. This flat reminds side. me of the uh, garlic potatoes that we uh -huh. do. Yeah, we do. Uh, we we cook a lot of times. You know, when we're not like doing a video, or if she making them while we're doing a video she refers to them but since we're doing this i'll go ahead and tell you that we have what's called a garlic potato garlic butter potato anyway we take a frying pan cut the potatoes in half load it up with lard or butter no, no butter, butter, butter butter yeah <laughs> load it up with butter yeah, garlic butter potatoes. Just right? garlic Makes and sense, butter, right? Yeah. Garlic and butter, and we cook the heck out of that on top of the stove. On top of the stove, and they are utterly awesome. Okay, so uh, wow, we barely just did get those in there. Okay. Hmm. Boy, that stuff's good. You know what? I need to open that up because I need to put it in there quick. Because that thing there is still warm. All right, now I have it in here, and it's set for, what's the temperature? It's 350 degrees. For 350 degrees. For about 45 minutes. And that's going to take about 45 minutes. Okay, while I got that in the oven, I'm just going to assume, and you know what that does, right? Especially around here. I'm going to go ahead and get this Italian sausage. And I want to get it ready because we're going to make Italian sausage with peppers and onions and tomatoes on a sandwich, but we're going to do it a little bit different. Now, many, and I, I, I really do love the Italian sausage sandwiches. Tammy and I, when we were younger, of course, we went to the fair all the time, you know. And our main focus was the food trailer. Well, that's the truth. It is the truth. As soon as we got there, first thing we did was head for the food trailer, and then we headed for the ones that had the Italian sausage sandwiches. Uh -huh. They were so good. They were good. We went for years and years. That was the first thing we did. And then we kind of skipped out on a few years as we got older and not really interested. And didn't have any kids to take. And didn't have <laughs> any kids to take. We decided, uh, we went up there with my sister and brother-in-law, Sandra uh -huh. and Charlie. And uh, is that thing on? Because I heard a ding. Oh, you got to start over. I got started over. There you go. Is that what I do? Okay. Yeah. So uh, we go up there, and guess what we do? We head straight for the food cart. And we each ordered one of these Italian sausages because we thought um, we would really love to have it. We hadn't had one in so long. And we both got that sandwich. That sucker. And we threw it away. We threw it away. It sucked. It was awful. It was horrible. So anyway, what I'm going to be doing, is this doing it right? I just squeeze it out, but... You just squeeze it out? Yeah. Okay. But what I'm going to do for this particular sandwich is I'm going to remove the skin. I wonder if I could do that. So I just cut the end of it off right there and just start squeezing. Yeah. <laughs> That's like choking a chicken neck. <laughs> okay. I like the other way better. I think it was a little quicker and it's a little cleaner. But I'm, I did it this way to see if it would be a little easier for me. And it really wasn't. Okay, so we just kind of do that. I'll do that on all three, and I'll try to increase production a little bit quicker. All right, so anyway, yeah, we went up there and got that sandwich at the fair. And, and that, sucker, that sucker was horrible. It didn't enjoy it at all. So what we did to supplement our uh, excursion to the fair and to remember, you know, a walk down memory lane, we went to the funnel cake trailer. 
And we got funnel cakes. I bet you didn't even know I was going to bring that up, did you? Yeah, we did funnel cakes. Tammy's, one of Tammy's favorite things when it's, we go to the fair is funnel cake. It's funnel cake. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's much easier. I don't know why you don't do it like that. You see how easy it is? Because you do it thing? so much better, honey. <laughs> she don't know how close she is. Okay, so now I got all that. So what do I got to do? I got to get it all chopped up? Or no, do I get the pan going? You got to get the pan. And then I start stabbing it mm -hmm. while it's cooking. I got... Okay, guys, you know what we have to do before we start cooking anything. We got to get that pan hot. Between medium and low. Let that pan get hot. Okay, I got my pan hot. And you guys missed it because I missed the butt. <laughs> but I took the olive oil and I put me a couple tablespoons in there just to kind of coat the bottom a little bit. And now I'm placing the sausage and I'm just kind of tearing it apart as I throw it in. And then, I gotta break it up. Where's my fernal? Is that one right there? Yep. So I'm gonna just take my spurtle and I'm just gonna start busting up this sausage. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to get my veggies cut. I'm just going to cut the ends of these onions off. I'm going to use this whole thing, right? Right. Okay. I'm going to cut like that. Give that a quick slice. Rip that onion skin off. And we're going to save that onion skin in yes. the freezer. Yes, we are. Okay, so that uh, we can make veggie broth. We're out of veggie broth, by the way, so we're going to have to make some. If you, if you want to see a video on how to make veggie broth, we got one, and I'll leave a link up there. If not, uh, we'll put another one out so you don't miss it either. But So I just want to cut these in what? Big old chunks? Yep. All right, so I'm, my idea of chunks is like that. Yep, that work. That work. Oop. So I want to throw them in there? Not till that's about done. Okay, now I got to cut me up some green pepper. Big old chunks. So I'm going to do the same thing with the tomatoes. We got all these veggies here. I'm on the last tomato. And my assistant was kind enough to stir my sausage for me. Okay, so I'm just going to chunk up this last tomato. Okay. So I got to get all this in that pan, right? Okay, mm -hmm. let's do it like that. Okay, now I'm gonna give all that a stir. Boy, look at that. Oh, that Italian sausage, sausage and then veggies. Oops. Two second roll. Uh, well, maybe three. Four. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do to enhance the seasoning of this ostentatious occasion. I think that's how you say that word. I've heard somebody use that before. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. One coat over the top.
we're going to go in here, pick up these potatoes with that Parmesan cheese and that butter. Okay, since I was the cook tonight, I get to be front and center. Yeah. Tammy's over here. Yeah. She wouldn't let me wear the cooking apron. No. Okay. You can't wear my apron. But uh, we're going to give this a quick, take, quick taste, taste test. Of course, you know, being the cook, you know what everything tastes like before it comes out, right? Right. Uh-huh. I had my eyeball on that Parmesan cheese is what I did. I couldn't wait for the sub. Me neither. Mm. Get it all situated. Mm. So good. Way better than the fair. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now I get to try tater. Okay, there it is. Potato. Uh, potato. Oh, I didn't get no skin on there. Ah, and then I got all that Parmesan cheese. Mm. I just wanted the garlic. Oh, it's so good. I don't know. It's a toss up. This one here, I think, beats them all the garlic potatoes hands down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I promoted that video earlier of the garlic potatoes that we did on that. the stove. You can do it right on top of the stove. But this with all that butter and that Parmesan cheese. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. We probably could have put some more Parmesan cheese in there. It wouldn't hurt my feelings. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. No. Nope, okay. Perfect. That's it, guys. It's absolutely perfect. I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't know how often we'll do these. I mean, but if you like this video. And you'd like me to join Tammy more often. <laughs> Leave a comment below. i see you next time. I know time. she probably wouldn't be too happy about it. <laughs> but actually, I think we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did have fun. Yeah. Y'all take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye.